So here's the second part of the orbit is uh, uh, let's let's calculate the, the radius of a geosynchronous orbit, right? So geosynchronous satellites, those are the ones that are above the equator, and they uh, orbit in the direction the Earth rotates, and they have the same period as the Earth's period of rotation. And that makes them stay in the same spot in the sky. Of course, they're not sitting still. They're moving, and of course, so is the Earth. All right, they just happen to have the same period. And so the question is, how far are they? Right? Are they are they are they pretty close? Or are they pretty far away? Um, now, the time it takes the Earth to rotate once is 23 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds. And the reason that that's not the 24 hours that you expect is, and I'll show you this in class, is that as the Earth rotates, it also orbits the Sun and moves a little bit in its path. And so it actually takes a little bit less time to rotate with respect to the stars than it does with respect to the sun, okay? So the period of this thing is 86,164 seconds is, is the actual time it takes the Earth to rotate with respect to the stars. There's the mass of the Earth. And then, of course, since we know the period of a geostationary orbit, we have to use this relationship with period in it. And we have to solve for R, which is the hardest thing to solve for in this case. So let me just show you how to do that, right? So we go mass of the satellite times 4 pi squared r over t squared, right, equals g m c m s over r squared, right? The first thing we do is we, we, we cancel out the satellite mass, right? Then we cross multiply. So we go 4 pi squared r times r squared is 4 pi squared r to the third, right? So these r's do not cancel. Everybody likes to cancel them, but they don't, right? And then that equals g mct squared, right? And then, of course, what I'm going to do is divide this by uh, 4 pi squared, right? And those go the way of the bison. And then how do you get rid of the r to the third? Well, you take the third root of this, right? Holy cow, right? So that's going to look like the third root of, right? And how do you do the third root? Well, in your... Um, in your uh, calculator, there is actually a way to do the third root. You can also just raise it to the third power, uh, which is what I'm going to do here. Actually, I'll show you both ways. Okay. But anyway, what this looks like is um, is uh, the third root of 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th, right? Uh, times 5.97 times 10 to the 24th, times, good golly, 86164. Don't forget to square that. Holy cow. The hardest part about this is, is figuring out how to type it into your calculator. Divided by 4 times pi squared, right? OK. Uh, so let me show you how to do that on the calculator. OK. All right. So. Uh, if you want to do the third root, what you have to do is use math, right? And there it is. It's math 4. Okay. So third root of, and then what was it? It was uh, uh, GMC T squared, right? So 6.67. Uh, I wish this thing wouldn't erase. Okay. Minus 11, right? Okay. Times 5.97. E24, right? Okay, times T squared, right? So 8, 6, 1, 6, 4. Okay, don't forget to square that, right? Divided by, and then this is very important. I want to divide by 4 and by pi squared. So to make the denominator all divided by, right? i got to put it in parentheses. So 4 times, and I know I don't have to say times, but, you know, 4 times pi squared. I can just go 4 pi squared. And then on this right parentheses, that parenthesis closes that parenthesis. This parenthesis is the denominator. So denominators with more than one factor in them, you've got to put them in parentheses. All right. Yeah, there we go. Right. So that is our answer right there. Okay. And then, you know, how would we write that? Well, we'd have to go mode, uh, scientific mode, and then go uh, second answer, right? That's what it is in scientific notation. 4.21499 times 10 to the seventh meters, right? That's the answer. Now, let me show you, just give you some perspective here. 
that answer there, if we figure out how many times Earth's radius it is, let's just do that. There's Earth's radius, 6.38 times 10 to the 6th, right? This is not something you always do. I'm just showing you that if we wanted to put this in perspective, right, if we found out how many Earth radii this was, it's actually 6.6 .6 times Earth's radius. I'll show you this in class. That's way, 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 way out there, right? So those satellites are very far away. That's why you need a parabolic dish to hit one of those satellites, okay?